whenever I take Lucy out for a walk, I always start the training before the walk because if you let her pull you down the driveway and onto the street, it's already too late. You're just gonna have to do damage control. But if you start the training when you put the leash on her and you have her wait at your front door and every boundary on the way out to the street, no. And if she's, she's gonna be excited like this, you just need to keep bringing her back down to earth. She's excited, we just came out just now. And I'm starting off the walk. I had her wait at my gates. I always have her wait at boundaries. And we're doing this, there's a little distraction there. You can show the truck moving. And there was a person that just got into the truck. So we like to do the training videos out in public because it's real life. So you wanna do your walk around out at every good curb, boundary, whatever it is. If you start the walks like this and you start on the inside of your front door and down your driveway and at your sidewalk and you make sure she's calm before the walk starts, you're gonna have a lot of success. But if you let her get all excited and you let her go through that front door before she calms down, see the reward is the walk. So that's why you start inside when you put the leash on, you start right there. There's plenty of rewards. Hey, up here, silly. Good. If she wants to take the walk, we need to teach her self-control and every boundary leading to the street, you have her wait and be calm like I've been doing the last three weeks she's been with me. And then you get to start the walk in a calm state like this. Okay. And I'm just gonna show you some basic leash handling skills here. She thinks she's, she's sniffing something on the ground. I don't know what it is, but basically she's on the clock. I'm gonna walk this way. Okay. When she's walking next to you, you want her walking with her head at your leg like this. Hey, the reason that I say have her head at your leg, sit, is because if you have her shoulder at your leg and she's out here, she's a, just a couple inches from pulling you and that was her big problem, was pulling on a leash out in the street. So have her be right at your leg when you're walking. Whenever you're gonna turn for a while, because you're gonna have to relearn how to walk her so that you your walking experience is what I like what I'm filming for you whenever you turn okay make sure you go left and if you're walking her come on let's go and she lags behind just coax her to catch up see how she's walking right next to me come on let's go if I'm gonna turn left she doesn't know that I'm about to turn you just do a little pop with the leash go left okay if you're gonna turn right then it's your opportunity, okay, to make, do a left turn to go right. Because every time you do a left turn like that, it's a very, okay, sit. It's a very primal kind of move. You're hurting her. Your body's showing her where to go. If you're always turning into her, the leash is never gonna be tight. If you're making right turns, you're gonna be pulling her like that. Tension on the leash creates stress. And so if she's pulling, you're trying to restrain her, no. See how just doing that made her break out of her sit-stay? So you wanna keep that leash loose and use the leash just for the little signals. And you saw, if you're walking fast and you're about to slow down a little bit to have her sit or to make a turn, you do a little pop. It's like you tap the brakes and turn. Okay, we'll do it again. Come on, let's go, come on. But she's, okay, she's a slow walker now. If anything, she'll lag behind. She's not pulling anymore. But if I'm gonna make, come on, let's go. If I'm gonna make a turn, I'm gonna pop and turn left. And the more left turns you do like this, sit. Better of a leash walker she's gonna be. If you practice these moves, and by the way, I'll just point out the way I'm holding the leash. It's looped over my thumb. And then you can take up the slack with your the rest of your right hand. The part that goes to her comes out the back of your hand so you have some leverage. And if you need to do a little prompt signal you can just do that your left arm is very relaxed and uh, you're never holding on tight you're never you know controlling her like that so you just you're not going like this you just relax and just walk like this and the only move you're gonna do is like this and you're using your body so for example if I'm gonna make a right turn I want to go that way okay I do a left turn to go right okay come on and then coax her to catch up Come on, let's go, come on. If she lags behind. If she lags way behind or she's sniffing the ground or something, you see what I was doing? 
I was saying, come on, let's go. Doing these little prompts, just like that. Okay, come on. So I'm gonna stop here, have her sit. She's a big sniffer of things on the ground. She's, we have distractions going on all around us here. But it doesn't matter. See how she stopped herself? That's good. She feels reactive and she loses focus for a second and pops out of a, out of a position, but goes back like that, like you just saw. That means that she's starting to think. And you want that. You want her to uh, have self-control. She stopped herself because she thought, oh, wait a minute, we're doing this and I I'm, I'm, haven't been allowed to get up yet. Good. So that's the whole leash walking thing. Um, you want to always keep the leash loose. Always turn left whenever you have a chance for a while. Later on, you can do right turns once you've got this whole... Nope. Once you have this whole um, loose leash situation going like you see me, because you had a big pulling problem, so you're going to have to practice a lot to get to the point where I am with her. But it only took me three weeks to teach her this. She knows how to do it. It's going to be about you practicing my moves and showing her that you've changed now. Because if you do what I'm doing, she's going to click in and do what you see her doing here because of what you're doing. So uh, we're going to work on that and practice with you when we bring her back to you. But you've always got this video to practice with. And uh, she's a lot calmer and easier to handle now. Okay, let's go. Come on.